guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit of a comparison video. So if you would have seen, it was probably like a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago, I can't remember. But I did a first impression review on these babies. Oh, it's a bit long. <laughs> on these babies. So um, yeah, these are my Artiste brushes. I've got the 10 piece Elite collection. I don't really know what it's called. But these are the brushes and I did a little first impression review on them for you and I told you guys that I would buy some eBay dupes and then compare them. So here are my eBay dupes. This pack was probably, I'd like to say it was under $20. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I will link where I got them from down below. And yes, yeah, so, and that set was nearly 600 so. There's quite a huge price difference in between them. But yeah, of course those came in a box. These came like this, but I'm gonna take them out of their packaging and let's see what they're like. Okay, so this is them here. So I got black ones and they've got like a rose gold um, bit on the top. The first thing that I do notice straight away is these are very, very short, whereas the Artis is a lot longer. Um, softness wise, they are pretty soft. Um, some of the bristles are like half coming out though, which is, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Um, but they are, like they're really soft, but I will compare, like this is the second biggest one in the Artis and this is the biggest one in the eBay dupes. So yeah, you can see that the eBay one is slightly smaller and yeah, these two are quite similar in size. This is the biggest one and this is the second biggest one. Um, if you compare them from side on, you can see that this one has got a completely flat surface, whereas this one is a little bit rounded. Um, but when you do rub it on your face, they actually do feel, they feel quite smooth. I think the Artis one might be a little bit softer, like the tiniest little bit, but this is still extremely soft. Okay, so size wise, they are quite um, soft similar-ish. The big ones are definitely quite off, like the big ones of these are a lot smaller than the big ones in those. Some of them are a little bit wonky, like if you can see that it's kind of like got this little like bit like indented in the bottom. A small one here that's like really wonky. I don't even use these small ones anyway, so. <laughs> Overall probably for the price it is worth it if you just want to sort of try them out. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half of my face makeup. I already did my eyes and stuff because as we realized in the first impression, they're pretty rubbish for eye makeup. <laughs> so I'm going to do one half of my face with the Artiste and one half of my face with the eBay ones and I'll sort of test them out on camera, see how they compare and if you can get the same result with them, which I'm pretty sure you'll be able to, but let's take that to the test. So I'm going to apply a bit of a primer first. So this is just the Hourglass Mineral Veil. And I'm just going to put that on my finger. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. Wow, I think I put way too much. But whatever. So I'm going to use the second largest brush in the eBay ones. So I'm going to do that on this side. And I'm going to use the second largest in the Artiste for this side. So both of the sides feel the, exactly the same. Maybe the eBay one feels like it's not rubbed in as well. Maybe I'll just put more product on that side, but it feels a little bit more like I need to rub it in a little bit more. But yeah, otherwise they were both really soft. The Artiste one was a little bit softer. But again, nothing too intense. So now we're going to move on to foundation. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I haven't used this in ages, but I'm like hating all my foundations right now. I don't know why, but I'm just like hating them. So I'm like, I'm going to try like some older ones that I used to love. So I'm just going to like apply that straight to my face. I don't normally do this, but because, you know, I'm using these brushes, I kind of have to. Um, so starting with the eBay side, I'm going to take the very biggest one and I'm just going to start buffing that in. Oh, I thought I'm going to snap it. Let's hope not. So this is applying quite uh, smoothly. 
um, and it feels really quite soft. I'm going to apply a little bit more on the forehead and I'm going to use the same one that I used for my primer with the Artiste. Just that in. Okay, straight away I'm noticing the Artiste one gives a lot more coverage. The other one's kind of um, absorbing some product, whereas the Artiste one is not absorbing any product at all. It's really weird, hey, because they look like they do this exact same thing. This is really hard to go around the brows because it's so fat. I feel like this size though in the eBay one is a lot easier to work with. But I keep like it keeps like on I feel like I'm breaking it. Okay, so the foundation's on. I definitely got more coverage on the RT side, which is really odd. I didn't think it would do that, but like you can't it's not like a noticeable thing. Um, I'm gonna spot conceal now, so I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm going to use I'm gonna use this sized one. So this is like the one of the smaller round ones in the eBay. First I'm going to put some concealer just on my finger. And then I'm going to go in with this and blend it out. Because there's not really anything on this side that needs concealing, I'll just do like half of my face even if it's on this side with this brush. This brush is definitely not as soft, like it's kind of really stiff and hard. Wow, it's really stiff and it's kind of like really hard to use. I'll try a similar sort of size in the Artis. This one's definitely a lot softer and a lot easier to use. It's not just stiff. Okay, now I'm going to conceal under my eyes. So I'm going to pop the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer on. And this brush is like all wonky, but I'm gonna like, it's all dented and it's kind of shedding. But I'm gonna try and use it anyway. <laughs> this is really stiff. You know what, I'm gonna try to use one slightly bigger because this one seems a lot softer. Yeah, this one's a lot better. And then I'm gonna use the similar sized one in the Artiste, which this one's one of my favorites. Oh, I absolutely love this one. It's amazing for concealer and highlighter. I love this brush so much. Wow, I forgot how much I love this foundation. I'm actually really digging it. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with a bit of banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm gonna use a different brush for this because these ones don't work too well with powders. I'm now gonna do a bit of bronzing. So I'm gonna use the Chanel uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, this is just a cream bronzer. And I'm gonna grab like this sort of medium -y sized one again. I'm just gonna swirl that in the bronzer. Wow, this is really stiff. I don't know why these are so stiff. And that slightly bigger one again to just blend that bronzer out. And I'm just gonna bronze some on my forehead as well. And now I'm going to grab this same sized brush in the Artis and do the same thing. Okay, so I could definitely feel a difference there. It's just like, this brush just works so much better. It's just like so much smoother and fluffier and bouncier, I'd say. Um, it just applies the product so much nicer. Um, but either way, like the product was still applied and like all in all, both sides look good. So yeah, I'm now just going to use this Smashbox contour stick. This is the contour one and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my nose. I don't like to apply too much of this because my nose looks weird when it's contoured. And I'm just going to try to blend that out. And I'm just going to use that highlighter shade to just highlight the center of my nose. Now I'm going to do a bit of highlighting. So I'm going to grab some of this Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. 
I haven't used this in ages. So I'm gonna dot some on my finger. And let me use the brush to just dab it in. That actually worked really nicely. So that brush was good at applying highlight. <laughs> Same on the other side. I already know this brush is gonna be amazing because I use highlight all the time. I have so much highlighter left over, so why not just dab it on, hey? I'm just gonna use one of these tiny blue ones to so just grab any leftover highlighter that's sort of on my hand. I'm just gonna pop that on my brow bone. Same on this side. Okay, the small brushes on this side are definitely more fluffy and easy to use. The other one was just really stiff. Okay guys, so now the makeup is complete. You can see that all in all, both of the brushes did a really good job, quite the same. You know, as I was saying during the video, there were some brushes of these that didn't work quite as well as the Artiste ones, but some of them worked really good for different things. All in all, do I think these are worth it? Definitely yes. If you want to try out these oval sort of brushes, definitely just go onto eBay and get some of these. There is a huge price difference and although I do think the Artiste ones are definitely better quality and they're a bit more sturdy and they're softer and do work a little bit better, in the end you're saving yourself like literally $500 by buying the eBay ones. So like is it really like a life or death situation? No. So. Unless you are like a makeup collector and you really, really would love to have these luxury brushes in your collection, definitely go for them. As I said in the other video, they are great and they do an awesome job. But again, these are just as good and they do do the job. And these are definitely enough. If I only had these, I would still be happy with them because they are just an awesome brush. They're an awesome tool. The whole concept of them is really cool because it works really well with cream products and it gives you a really nice finish. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. I hope it sort of helped you out in making a decision on whether to buy these or whether to just stick to the cheaper alternative. Um, obviously, there will be some that are better than others out there. These were pretty good. I'd probably give them like a six or a seven out of 10. Like they are pretty good. There are There is just a few things that are a bit, yeah. But yeah, I will link where I got them from down below, which sell on eBay. And yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Um, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe down the bottom if you aren't subscribed already. I do upload twice a week. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day, night, or whatever time it is that you are in right now. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.